seconds is when I want to do this next one. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and slow it down. So, okay. God, I can't believe I botched my lander. Oy vey. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> and be 45 pretty soon. 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 1, 50, 49, 48, 7, 6, 45. Okay. There we go, and just kind of let it run for its minute and a half. <sighs> so I'm probably going to redo this again <laughs> at some point. I'm probably going to make some modifications to this design. I mean, it, it seems like a reasonably solid design. I just need to make some tweaks to it so I don't, you know, like, screw up my staging. <laughs> Which seems to be a very popular thing for me to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, there's the fuel issue as well. Um, I should probably play around with it a little bit, just to get a sense for it. See how, what exactly I'll need, and how all that's going to work and everything. But, you know, we'll see. It's it's tricky, but I'll get it eventually. Ah, excuse me. Mm. It's actually rather early over here. It's um 7.30 right now. I got up rather early. I figured, hey, I got time. I'll do a KSP video. <laughs> Two, one, one. Oh, come on. Only got less than a degree to go, folks. Six, five, four, point three, point two. Start easing the thrust. And cut it. Perfect. Alright, now. So that's done. Next step is... Let's figure out... Whoa. That is not what I'm after. That would get me to moon. I'm not looking to go to moon. Do not take me to moon. There we are. Oops. It's always tricky getting this Minmus stuff figured out. Ah, damn moon getting in the way. Doing things, getting in my way. Yeah, that should work. Not sure how long that burn's supposed to be, though. Oof. There's no way in hell I'm going to get that on this first go-around, so... Um... Yeah, let's wait a little bit. Do-do-do. See what I can get on my next go around. Okay. Let's start setting up the node. Alright, now. Get it out there far enough. Okay. Need to shift it over. Annoying. Slight subtleties in this orbit. Okay, that seems good. How close am I getting to uh, to Minmus there? Not bad, actually. Okay, that I can do. So this is an eight-minute burn. So I'll need to do it at the four minutes fr from node mark. Wow, I don't even know if I can do this. <laughs> um. I'll be very curious to see if I can. Whew. 
not used to using nuclear engines like this. There's a few different designs I actually want to try with the nuclear engines, especially now that I've got um, large bolt to quads, so you know where I can take the, the large the larger cylinders and then hook uh, four smaller things onto it. I'm thinking that might be a good way of doing the nuclear engines. So, okay. Um, I'll have to give that a try, actually, at some point. Maybe that'll be my next video. Attempt to go interplanetary with a manned mission. That would actually be kind of cool. See if I can get to do that. I've already got some crap over there anyway, so yeah. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Okay, getting close here. Getting very close. So, at four minutes, I will just punch this thing and... Oh, yeah, I've definitely got the feel for it. take a little bit of time. So, seven minutes of us sitting on our ass together. Yahoo. <laughs> oh, boy. So, I guess I should just brainstorm about future things I want to do. I mean, definitely I want to get space stations set up. One around Minmus. Uh, maybe tweak the one around Moon. And I definitely want one around Kerbin. The idea is I want to be able to taxi fuel from the Minmus station to the uh, one over Kerbin so that I don't have to launch things into Minmus orbit in order to refuel them. I can just, you know, harvest the key thing, Minmus, refine it, or bring it over to the, um, to bring it over to, uh, the place here, uh, Kerbin. God, I can't believe I forgot that. And then get kind of like a, a fuel taxi service going on. Which I think would be kind of cool. And then... But also, I would definitely like to explore EVE at some point. I'd like to see if I can get some sort of space plane on EVE. To see how it handles with the really thick atmosphere. I'm really curious about that. Um, but first, I think I just want to get something there. And at some point, I also want to check out Jewel as well and see if I can explore some of the moons over there. But, you know, we'll see. Steps at a time, steps at a time. <laughs> um, Duna would be fun as well. I think I would enjoy uh, goofing around in Duna too. So, but we'll see how all that goes. Ba -do -ba -do. How does my ship actually look? Yep, she looks good. Still got plenty of fuel. Plenty, plenty of fuel. <sighs> Definitely should modify the lander design, though. I, I want to try to be more efficient with it, see if I can get it smaller. Um, maybe a lander can 1 instead of a lander can 2. I think that would work a little better. These things are horribly inefficient. Whereas our friend Nuclear, or Atomic Rocket, is insanely efficient. 800 specific impulse. I wonder what the actual physics behind rocket efficiency is. So I've never quite understood it. I mean, these things burn in an environment that's basically cut off from the outside conditions until, you know, the actual thrust escapes, which maybe that's it, you know, maybe like in space the, the, the ejected uh, fuel uh, burn, the, the, the fuel ejection is 
not pushing up against all the crap in the atmosphere that makes it more efficient? I, I, I don't know. But then, you know, how would burning different things change that? It's, it's confusing to me. I don't understand it. I want to understand. <laughs> That'd actually be kind of cool if Scott Manley did a video on that. That would be, that would be pretty neat. I would, I would definitely enjoy that. <laughs> uh, so, let's see here. So, I'm about halfway through the burn. Yay, I've wasted half of uh, four minutes of time. Boring all of you to tears, I'm sure. <laughs> so, I'm thinking next time... Well, actually, I'm thinking what I want to do is get a quad um, atomic rocket motor setup. Or, or maybe some sort of funky setup where I've got a series of three of these quad atomic rocket motor engines. That would be kind of cool. I, I would be curious to see how that works. Just for the hell of it, you know? Maybe that's what I'll test out a little bit. I'll, I'll see I'll see about launching stuff like that up and just kind of playing around with it, you know, getting it in different orbits and stuff. I'd need some sort of lander module so I can refuel it. Because, um, you know, always need those kinds of things. Fuel is good. <laughs> It's always interesting how you get this exponential increase in the amount of distance that you're going out by the amount of force that you're putting in. And I need to adjust this a little bit. Just a teensy bit. It's one thing I like about the maneuver nodes is that there's there's something of a correcting feature in it that if you're off a little bit, it'll tell you where you need to reorient yourself to in order to get there. I, I kind of like that. So, okay. Thankfully, Minmus has insanely low gravity, so getting off of it and on it will be a piece of cake. It's just, you know, getting to it that's part of the problem. Uh, there's my brave Kerbonauts, Dan V and Scenester at Stupidity Base. Yes. <laughs> Aptly named. Oh boy. Did not bring anywhere near enough fuel did not design the damn thing properly. I actually should have reviewed that video before I did this. That was something I didn't do. I should have I should have reviewed that video before I decided to do this again, but hey, doing things on whimsy, that's just kind of what happens. <laughs> oh boy. Okie So... I guess just random tidbits on my end. Um, you know, I've got about a month of uh, this semester of grad school under my belt. Very much enjoying it. My classes are actually really fun. Because um, the, the first year of my studies really dug into how to review the literature that we're working with. Because, you know, policy world, it's not just academic articles. I also need to learn how to read legal documents and learn how to read policy documents and policy documents are the worst there is absolutely no consistency in them in any way shape or form everybody does it differently see when you're reading like a research study you can expect a standard format you know you've got your introduction you've got the literature review you've got the, the study design, you've got the results, and then you've got the analysis and the conclusion. It, it, it's all very straightforward. And people tend to lay things out in roughly the same way. Yeah. I... Uh, <laughs> don't I wish that policy stuff was like that. It's it's not, not anywhere remotely near that. That's a pretty big readjustment. Yeah. It's not, and that's really actually sad. So, but anyways, um, so you know, the first bit was really digging into how to how to read that kind of stuff and um, what to do with it, how to assess and analyze policy literature, and then um, also a lot about the quantitative analysis. Ah, uh, statistics. I love statistics. I learned how to run a regression analysis. <laughs> I I know. You gotta you gotta be a real total geek in order to enjoy stuff like that. But, thankfully, I am a real total geek. <laughs> okay, starting to... 
Alright, I'm going to stop trying to correct. And nix that, and get rid of the maneuver node so that I can just sort of manually do this. Okay, okay. Well, oh, actually, no, yeah, yeah, I can. Seven, six. Okay, six thousand is totally fine. I'm I'm completely good with this. This is a good setup. This will get me into a decent orbit, and I'll be coming in. I'm not exactly sure. I think I'll end up orbiting Minmus like this. See, this is one of the things about this game that always confused me: is that it's very hard for me to tell what what direction. I'm orbiting whatever body I come up on because it's it's one of those really finely tuned things that is just not easy to get a handle on at all. I, I've never been able to quite figure it out. So, anyways, um, yeah. So, like I was saying, my current studies have been very. I have really emphasized the literature review aspects and the uh, quantitative aspects. And this semester, it's a lot of qualitative stuff, you know. What what sort of organizational traits do I look for when I'm, at least from the perspective I'm taking it, what sort of, what sort of organizational traits do I look for when, you know, things are being evaluated? And stuff like that. And, you know, what are good leadership practices? So... I don't much care for the leadership stuff because I never want to have to deal with that kind of stuff unless I really damn well know what I'm doing. I'm a technical person. I'm not... Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's interesting and I'm enjoying it. And I got an internship, a really nice internship. There we are. Switched over. Okay, so I am... Oh, wow, that's going to sharp angle it. Okay. Um... I got myself a really nice internship as well uh, with a uh, family service organization. I'm going to be helping them out with program review work, which is kind of my specialty. I, I'm really curious about, hey, what makes this work? How can we make it work better? That kind of stuff. I enjoy that a lot. <laughs> All right, so... This is at 60-something. Let me see if I can... Yeah, okay. And I learned a lot about how to quantitatively figure out all that program evaluation stuff, but uh, the qualitative aspect is still a little fuzzy for me, which is what, is I'm, what I'm glad for for this semester. Okay, let's line ourselves up. So it's a minute and 16 second burn. So that means I will need to hit it at 38 seconds, which means more realistically about 40 seconds for me. So I'll start doing time acceleration. Dun, dun, dun. How much fuel do I have? Still a good chunk of fuel. This is good. So I start that internship. Um, I guess at this point it's this week since I'm on Sunday. It's the 20. Oops, slow things down a little bit. Um, it's the 22nd over here. That was a little too early. Um, that it is the 22nd over here of September. So I don't know when this, when I'm going to actually be publishing this video. Um, I think a week or two from now. So I'll have already started in my uh, internship work by then. And I'm focusing now on the game. Okay. Now, 36 seconds. Hello, Minmus. I'll adjust my heading just a bit here. <clears throat> so, really looking forward to that. All the stuff that's going to be associated with that. Now, of course, I am taking 16 units on top of this, but I'm starting off with the work at part time, only about 12 hours a week. Okay, start burning. So, not too worried about it or anything. Um, and I had a similarly crazy schedule last semester, and I did okay. So I think I'll be fine. Uh, 
So, get to enjoy all that fun stuff. I like school. <laughs> it's a little weird, though, because the institution I'm at is insanely liberal, and I consider myself to be reasonably liberal, you know, I'm, I count myself as <clears throat> um, socially liberal and somewhat economically stingy, but not terribly. So, liberal in the modern sense, not the classical sense. But, oh my god, I feel downright conservative here sometimes. <laughs> uh, it's, it's an odd feeling, feeling like you're conservative when you've spent most of your life liberal. <laughs> uh, so, okay, coming up on break. And hit it. All right, that's not not perfect, but it's good enough. Um, okay, so now I need to adjust the plane of my orbit. I'll do that here. Whoa, that didn't require much thrust. Well, whoa, that was not good. Hmm. All right. Um. Yeah, this is this is hard to tweak. I don't like tweaking this stuff. Eek. Oi. See, cause I, I never feel like I can quite get it right, and this is one of the things that Mech Jeb is really useful for. Is it can it can just automatically set me up with all of the right things in all of the right angles in all the right way so that I don't have to hassle with doing it this way which is an insane hassle yeah maybe I don't even need to do it that way screw that let's just land <laughs> oh boy yeah I'm screwed all right um so Bob and let's see, I think who's where? Who is here? Bergie is over there. Okay, so because Bob doesn't like doing anything. <laughs> uh, I think changing camera to chase cam, okay. Well, um, okay, okay, uh, sort of, kind of, I think I'm, I think I'm getting this, ish, okay, move me forward, where is the hatch, I think the hatch is up, Yep, there's the hatch. Okay, ah! Uh, sort of, kind of, I think I've got this. Nope, not quite. Up, just a bit. Back, just a bit. I never did quite figure out, ah, got it. I never did quite figure out how to control the Kerbals uh, effectively. Okay, and control from here, undock, let's switch over to docking mode so that I can slowly RCS myself back, kick over to resources because I definitely don't have enough monoprop to do anything that I really want to. <laughs> Alright, I'll have to take a look at my orbit trajectory because Wow, there's not a good landing site until I hit over here. Hmm, that's kind of sucky. I'd like to land sooner, but then again, I don't really have a good way of thing to land in anyway, so. Starts, oh man, I am not landing on the dark. I am not going to land in the dark, so let's just time accelerate until I feel like...
Yeah, here we go. This is it. Okay. And... Whoa, that was crazy. Okay, so lock it in there. Pull out of the map. Come back in here. Make sure those engines are primed. And let's descend my orbit. Okay, that's good. That'll get me in pretty close. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Perfect. And there's the Apollo Test Crasher 2 Command Module. <sighs> this is going to be interesting, um, because these engine bits actually protrude out a little bit from here, which is, is going to cause me problems. Like it does. <laughs> when I'm actually trying to land because I really screwed that up. <laughs> All right, let's time accelerate things in a bit here. And... Coming in for that landing. At least I've got plenty of fuel to do it with this time. Okay, there we go. Now, interested in surface. How far am I? 3,000. Yeah, let's start breaking. Okay, cut the brake. Good, I am going to come in where it's flat. See if these guys survive the trip. God, this this Apollo style stuff is just the death going to be the death of me, isn't it? Okay. Now what I should do is zero this thing out so that I'm vertical. Oop, there we go. Good, good, good. Okay. Straight up. Perfect. Now, this is where I kick in this stuff to correct some of the more specific drift. Perfect. Alright, and back into staging mode. This would be totally awesome if I hadn't totally botched it coming over here and jettisoning the wrong thing. Jason, you're an idiot. <laughs> Alright, so I, I don't think I actually need this second fuel canister here. I think I should move this to the one underneath it, because that's the one that I think needs the most fuel. I think. Fine, 500 meters. Still don't see my shadow. Where's the sun? There it is. Okay, so my shadow's going to appear. There it is. There's my shadow. Still coming in pretty hot. 200 meters. Okay. Like four of these is also overkill. But then again, this was designed. This wasn't designed for landing. This was designed for takeoff. Less worried about this being overkill because I was stupid. Okay, coming up really close here. 50 meters. It's gonna be a little bit of drift, no way to compensate for that at this point. Mm -hmm. 
And okay. Hey, I, I landed in a way that didn't break the engines. Oh my God, that's amazing. These guys could actually get back. That is so cool. All right. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call it. I've um, been doing this about an hour. That should give me another two segments of video to work with. So, let me um, get Bob out on EVA just to kind of do a, you know, posterity kind of thing. Ah, check that out. And plant a flag. <laughs> the dude site. Text, OMG, WTF, we landed? Really? <laughs> Seems appropriate. All right. And let's get Bergie out there, too. Get them all posteritizing. Because, you know, posterity, it's kind of cool sometimes. Alright, and screenshot! <laughs> that's a cool picture. I actually kind of like that. That's that's pretty cool. Alright, folks. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode! Whee! Low... Wow! I forgot how low gravity uh, Mid Mist really is. <laughs> cool! And... Donk. <laughs>